this, I feel more and more connected to the living uh, reality of knowingness and love. So yeah, I'm very, very grateful <laughs> for that. And uh, I see everything as the perfect unfoldment, including this, uh, my relative evolution and interaction with you. Yes, it will become what you say it is. You see, it's always perfect, and it's simultaneously always imperfect. Both versions of reality exist. The reality of perfection is simply built upon the understanding that even imperfections are in service to the eternal manifestation of the one infinite perfection that is. So mistakes are really wild cards, you see. Yes. Perfect wild cards thrown into the equation that would otherwise be too hyperly ordered for you to all enjoy yourselves. Yes. If it was too perfect. You wouldn't have as much fun. Yes. Yes. It is a great paradox and yeah, it, it becomes my, my natural state to, to see everything in this light. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it lets you play. Because yeah. that is how you evolve the quickest. And you can play in joy, you can play in suffering, you can play in anything. Playfulness is a universal foundational quality. It's one of the first qualities developed through consciousness. Playfulness. It is one of the first expressions of self. So it is universal. All animals possess playfulness when they're young. You can observe this. If you were to observe it all the way down, even to the bacterial level, you would even be able to observe that if you were to see inside their minds. But of course, the observable actions that they perform are limited. They just sort of wiggle around. Yeah. But is that not playful? Is that not an ecstatic movement? Yes. So keep in mind, playfulness is foundational, and this is what you are awakening. And it turns on your genius. If you can be playful with a problem, it's not a problem. It's a puzzle. Yes. So all puzzles can be solved. That's why yes. they're puzzles. 